You take a country like Georgia, and Georgia was the richest part of the whole Soviet Union. It produced fruit and vegetables, which it sold to the whole of northern Russia, for example, and Siberia. It produced wine and cognac. Indeed, it had a very flourishing industrial economy as well, specializing in electronics, the primitive first-generation computers, and all this kind of thing. All that just collapsed overnight. You see, when the Soviet Union fell apart. So Georgia, for example, lost all its markets, all its communications. It plunged into civil war. There was no fuel. There was no electricity. People lived in darkness and cold all through the winter. Uh, there was practically nothing to eat and practically no money. And in different variations, this spread all around the sea. With the collapse of the economic and political system, people were filled with a sense of powerlessness, an inability to control and plan their lives. Many turned to religion, which under communism had been persecuted. His Holiness, the Patriarch Elias, welcomes the Patriarch Bartholomew on his first visit to Georgia. Each Eastern Orthodox Church has its own Patriarch, but as Patriarch of Constantinople, Bartholomew is recognized as first among equals. As such, he is spiritual head of 250 million Christians. Throughout Eastern Europe, churches are being restored to their former glory with new embellishments. For many of the voyagers, this is their first encounter with the strength of religious feeling in the former Soviet republics. Oh! 